What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to the top 5 graphics cards under $200 for early 2016. I'm going to be going over temps, the benchmarks and specs and give you guys a summary of which of these cards has the best bang for your buck at the end of this video. So without wasting any more time, let's begin. The 5 graphics cards that I will be testing in this video are the following. The Zotac GTX 750Ti, Gigabyte R7 370, MSI R9 380, EVGA GTX 950, and the EVGA GTX 960. By the way, you guys can find all of these cards linked below if anyone is interested. To keep the comparison fair, I picked up the 2GB variants for all of the cards, but if you guys are interested in the same exact video for the 4GB variant, make sure to drop a comment down below letting me know. The PC that I'm using to run the benchmarks is Mantix that has a 6700K which is overclocked to 4.5 GHz to ensure that there is no CPU bottlenecking. It also has 16GB of RAM, a Dark Rock Pro 3 CPU cooler, and an MSI Z170i motherboard. The smallest and cheapest of them all is the Zotac GTX 750Ti coming in at $104.99 on Amazon and please keep in mind that prices do fluctuate depending on when you're watching this video. It features a 1033MHz base clock with a 128-bit memory bus and features one HDMI, one display port and a single DL DVI port. The Gigabyte R7 370 goes for around 150 bucks and has a base clock of 975 MHz but a 256-bit memory interface. It also features one HDMI, one display port and both DVI-D and I ports. It also comes with a dope looking backplate. The MSI R9 380 goes for around $180 and has a base clock of 980 MHz, 256 bit memory interface and features the same ports as the R7 370. The EVGA GTX 950 goes for around $160 and has a base clock of 1190 MHz, a 128 bit memory interface and features 3 display ports, 1 HDMI and 1 dual link DVI. And finally, the EVGA GTX 960 goes for around $190 and has a base clock of 1279 and a 128 bit memory interface with the same ports as the GTX 950. Before we jump into the benchmarks, let's take a quick look at the temps. As you can see, the two coolest cards on idle goes to the Zotac GTX 750Ti and the GTX 950 coming in at just 30 degrees Celsius followed closely by the R7 370 and the hottest card goes to the R9 380. Please keep in mind that these temps may vary depending on your PC case, airflow, room temperatures and a few other factors. I'm just showing you these for comparison reasons. During full load, the 750Ti is by far the coolest card and the R9 380 is the hottest followed closely by the GTX 960. The R9 380 is also the loudest card and if you guys want to hear sound comparisons in my next video, make sure to leave a comment below. For Fire Strike benchmarks, the R9 380 takes first place with a score of 7845, followed by the GTX 960. Then we have the 950 in third place, R7 370 in fourth, and lastly the GTX 750Ti. Running the Unigen Heaven benchmark, we can see that the 750Ti had the lowest average FPS whereas the R9 380 took the lead at 66.9, followed closely by the GTX 960. Similar results were shown during the Metro Last Light benchmark, with the 380 being on the top, and once again closely followed by the GTX 960, and then the 750Ti all the way on the bottom. But when it came to GTA 5, surprisingly the GTX 960 took first place with an average FPS count of 106, with the 380 coming in second, with 105 instead. Once again, the 750Ti stays in last place. So based on these scores and the current price of the graphics cards, here is your price per performance scores. The best bang for your buck graphics card goes to the Zotac 750Ti with a score of 1.93 and the second best graphics card for the money goes to the EVGA GTX 950. Surprisingly, the R7 370 and the GTX 960 are a little too expensive for the performance they offer compared to the other cards. If you want to gain a noticeable amount of performance in games and have a little more to spend, then the GTX 950 is the obvious choice in terms of budget. However, if you guys want the best possible performance under $200, the R9 380 is the obvious choice over the GTX 960. If you guys enjoyed this video or if it helped you out, make sure to leave a like to show your support and let me know what type of GPUs you want me to do in my next top 5 GPU video. If you guys want me to compare all of the 750Ti variants like the EPGA, 
Asus, Zotac, and all of those, or do you want to see a high-end GPU comparison, like the Titan X, 980Ti, the R9 Fury, and all of that. Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.